studio Atlanta, Georgia with Great Peacock. Everybody, thanks for being here so much today. Um, really appreciate you being able to make a stop um, before you go rip it up at the Earl tonight. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, tour and all things going on in the life of the band, but uh, why don't we start by having you introduce the first song a little bit. Tell us what you're going to play. Uh, we're going to play a song called Church Bells that's off of our first album. Uh, it's uh, I remember writing this song sitting on my bed in this really small room in Nashville that I lived in. It was like a closet, and uh, the chords came to me. And uh, I don't really know what the song's about, but to me it feels like uh, sort of like a Faulkner meets Fantasia idea of death. So we'll go with that. Cool. It's two of my favorite things. <laughs> Those are nonsensical period. Yes, very nonsensical. <laughs> Surround you I cannot implore you All I really want Is the truth ooh, ooh, ooh. Light is so demanding Life is understanding All I really want Is the truth ooh. There's beneath the southern ground The church bells will make the sound The church bells will make the sound So lay me down There beneath the southern ground The church bells will make the sound The church bells will make the sound Got a new direction Dream for me protection All I really want is the truth ooh, ooh, ooh. Dream me up a forest From the ones before us All I really want The southern ground, the church bells will make the sound. The church bells will make the sound. So lay me down, there beneath the southern ground. The church bells will make the sound. The church bells will make the sound. In the secret, in the quiet, there's a place we go Through the stillness and the darkness, only time will know Secret and the quiet, there's a place we go through the stillness and the darkness. The only time we'll know. Oh.
Gracias. All right, all right. Yeah, sounds totally killer. Thank you guys so much. Andrew, Blunt, Nick, and Frank, thank you all for being here. Um, so like I said, you are at the Earl tonight. This is a headlining tour for you. Um, but you just got off the road with Revivalists, right? Uh, yeah. How was that experience? And what it, what's different about, I mean, obviously, the obvious differences, but um, any contrast points you want to talk about or, like, favorite stops you've been, <laughs> highlights of both types of touring? Well, our last gig with the Revivalists was at the Amphitheater in Nashville, and we're playing to, like, a 250-cap room tonight. So this is a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, I'll be able to hear myself much better. I'm sure these guys will, too. Um, but uh, I don't know. To me, they're both fun. Yeah. I, I don't really have a preference other than just want it to be good for everybody. Right. Yeah, well, we always get better energy when it's in a smaller space, especially like those big shows. It's so weird because, you know, people seem so more like far away. I don't know. But I like the challenge of that. Yeah, yeah. You can play so many club dates and like it, it's, you know, it's it's going to sound good if you're a good band no matter what. But if you have a challenge of this crowd, you have to grab their attention. It's a little more without being cheesy, you know. So right, right. I, I like that. And it, it probably not only seems like the audience is far away, but it also probably seems like you all are far away from each other on these larger stages. Um, so uh, we are not in a overflow of space here in this studio um, but hopefully everybody feels cozy. This is more room than we practice in. This is great. All right, all right. Well, we uh, <laughs> the space is available, uh, an hourly rate, pre-furnished uh, for practice okay, space cool, anytime cool. you guys are in town. Um, but no, uh, seriously, though, really thank you guys for being here. Um, we got a couple songs left, a little bit more talking to do. What are we going to hear uh, next? We're going to play a song called Let You Go. We just released this as a single, I don't know how many, a couple years ago or something like that, and... Uh, there's really not much to say about it other than it's just sort of comes from the same place as the last song. It's a sort of weird song about uh, maybe not dying, rather uh, a fear of growing old, actually. So we'll go with that. That sounds poetic. For the reasons you want to know why, and all the changing seasons, and all we do is try. We're not getting any younger, it doesn't work that way. We're not getting any younger, and I ain't here to stay. Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go Seeing well, this heart is barely beating, but it ain't gone to hell. We're not getting any younger, it doesn't work that way. We're not getting any younger, and I ain't here to stay. Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go Yeah, but I won't let you, I won't let you go Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go Snow, now 
go, won't let you go. Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go. Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go. Yeah, but I'll let you go, won't let you go. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So, uh, congratulations to you all um, on Grand Pavo Real. It's out now on Rope Dope. Uh, that's got to feel real good. It feels good. Yeah. I'm, Why I'm, wouldn't I'm, it feel good? It, it's got to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't think that's the case at all. If it was a piece of dog shit, it wouldn't feel good. But it we would not feel, feel like good. it is. We feel like it's not. So. I, I, I am inclined to agree. Um, that's not the only thing. Uh, you also just released a standalone single, um, Cortez the Killer. It's a Neil Young cover, which is very cool. Um, yeah. So just congratulations to all the happenings in Great Peacock World right Thank now. You. Um, Appreciate that. What's, uh, I what's... needed that. I wasn't feeling that great about myself or us today. And oh, well, I that's... feel like um, I have a reason now. That's Thank why, you, Andrew. That is why we are all here, is to, <laughs> to elevate one another uh, in the community of peace, love, and music. Um, Seriously, though. Yeah. We, we I, should, actually. We're joking, but that is... Uh... I, I, I said that. I picked words that sounded funny, but I also meant that super serious. Um, at, at least they may have sounded cliche, but that's not the case. Um, Andrew, Blunt, Nick, Frank, thank you uh, just really, truly from the bottom of our hearts for being here. Um, I know the Earl is going to be a late night, um, so hopefully this early afternoon is not going to crush you. And the, the Moon Doggies who were here. They were just here. They were just here. We're fans. We're going to go see them, open for the Head and the Heart tonight. Yep. And then they're going to hopefully come see us afterwards. So. Killer. Well, the Tabernacle just... and the Earl, yeah, are, are, are early slash late, respectively. Um, so I'm glad that's going to work out. It was great uh, to see those guys again. They're from my past, and now we are all from each other's past and future. Um, Frank, you and I go way back, so this is this is great. Very Charles I mean, Dickens. It's yeah, I, that's that's my middle name. Both of them. Um, yeah. So thank you for coming all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we got one more song, and I would love to know what what it is and what it's about and why it exists. Um, if that's uh, something you want to get into. Uh, yeah, this song is called One Way Ticket. Um, this is uh, uh, just a song I was playing, and I came up with some lyrics, and I didn't think it was very good, and I played it for Blunt here. And he was like, that's uh, one of the best songs you've ever written. And I was like, okay, well, help me finish it. So, And it just really, uh, we, we all grew up uh, pretty religious. I know I probably grew up more religious than the rest of the guys here. Um, and it's just sort of about that, the, the South. There's a very... Uh, religious not undertone a very religious overtone of growing up in the south and uh and maybe uh it's really hard to sort of find out what you actually believe or what you think and how the impossibility of separating yourself from the very things that were ingrained in you but uh that it's a really complicated song it's also about the sort of hypocrisy of morality um but anyway uh uh, I hope everyone finds that very joyous to think of, and uh, we're going to play this next song <laughs> called One Way Ticket. Right on. I can remember what you said to me Yeah, I can remember who we used to be I can remember all the things we did I can remember lying in her bed I'm a rolling stone 
I can't sit still. I'm a one way ticket. Headed straight down here. I'm a back row Baptist with stories to tell. Got a one way ticket. Keep me out of hell. Driving down the strip. Yeah, I can remember having my first sip. I can remember all the lonely nights. Yeah, I can remember looking in her eyes. I'm a rolling stone. Yeah, I can't sit still. I'm a one-way ticket Headed straight down here I'm a back row Baptist With stories to tell Got a one-way ticket Keep me out of hell I'm a rolling stone Yeah, I I'm a one-way ticket Headed straight down I'm a back row bandit With stories to tell Got a one-way ticket Keep me out of So great. Um, and you're not the only one uh, who has had that experience. Uh, that, that song definitely spoke to me. I know the feeling very well. Uh, every time I see my old friend Dave Bazan, that is always the conversation that we <laughs> oh, have. I imagine um, so. Yeah, as, as, you, as is probably obvious to all of yeah, you. So, I so. Many, many thoughts about that. Um, and the yeah, good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, what denomination? I grew up Methodist. Oh really? Yeah. Oh man, you guys were like Unitarians compared to kind my Kind of, yeah. We could gamble. <laughs> we could definitely. My yeah, my mom and dad were both Sunday school teachers, uh, wow. and that uh, you know definitely did not expand into the other six days of the week in many ways. Um, speak to the hypocrisy tip that you were referring oh, wow. to. Wow, I was and, about to say, and they're probably really great people. <laughs> yes, they are. Um, but it's not. It's not. In, I think that is. Uh, they are great people, and uh, I don't think that is because of that. Uh, religious experience. I think it's sort of almost in spite of it. So, um, you know, uh, but everybody's trying to point to the things that hold ultimate truth and, and unity and all that kind of stuff. And if that's where you're coming from and you get to a place that does have some sort of uh, less than desirable uh, elements to it, then also so be it. You We're know, also it's, it's, not anti religious or no, anti seeking any sort yeah, of truth. And, and neither am I, because I think everybody's right. We're all trying to find the same thing, and we've all found it in a different way. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, much love to everybody in the world. And uh, I think that having every perspective possible for, for, for listeners and just for people in general is, is what makes this place so darn cool. Um, yeah. I almost swore, I almost Amen. took the Lord's name in vain right then. Um, Did you say Don cool? I almost, yeah, I almost said gosh darn, but 
I thought you more. said Don Cool, and then I thought about mixing that with like Don Julio, Don Coolio. I'm gonna say that, that from would be now on. Interesting. So um, this has been a Don Cool session, <laughs> um, and a Don Cool hang. A Don Cool production. A Don Cool, but I don't know who that is. We are next door to Ted <laughs> Turner Drive, though, so don't 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 put the word out that we're looking to expand. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you happen to meet Don Cool on the road, send him in for an interview. I'd love to chat. Um, speaking of the road, you got a lot more turn to do. How much longer are you out on this run? Oh, this is an easy weekend. Okay. Yeah, we're we're mostly just spending our time recording our third album right now got in it. Nashville. So uh, these are just to keep us uh, inspired, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we appreciate the stop, and we appreciate the uh, the fact that you're here in town playing the Earl. Um, really, yes. Much, if much... you're in Atlanta and listening, come on out, man. Come out to the Earl tonight, and if you're not in Atlanta or you simply can't make it, where can we find out what other tour dates and goings on you have uh, on the internet? Greatpeacock.com. Uh, Instagram, Great Peacock. Facebook, Great Peacock. It's the one cool thing about having a weird band name is that you know nobody had the URLs before us, so that's true. Um, uh, pretty easy. Uh, Great Peacock, everything. So okay, well we will check that out and uh, look for this session, of course, and. Uh, Many more to come on PaceMagazine.com since we're talking about the internet on the internet. Um, <laughs> that's about it for internet time today, though. So uh, we really yeah. appreciate you guys coming through. And safe travels to the next destination. Uh, I hope I haven't missed any cool fact about the band. Um, oh, none other than that I was a Pace uh, Magazine intern like 14 years ago. That is amazing. So And, and, and Josh uh, is on... Yeah, is, shout out to Josh Jackson. Shout out to Josh Jackson, who is on... Uh, Keeping, he's on family duty today, so uh, yeah, he's again. It's the on. most important duty. It is the most important duty, and uh, we all have to remember that as weirdos who drive around playing music all the time or doing this <laughs> yeah. kind of crazy thing. So, uh, but yes, uh, thank you for being an important part of this crazy thing that we just did, and yeah, much love to all of thank you. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you.